Did you ever wonder how the advent of farming and agriculture came about? Did you ever even think where this all started, the modern era of humanity? What if we were to tell you that it started in Mesopotamia and that it began close to Mount Ararat? This is the mountain where the great ark, as foretold in the Bible and the ancient Sumerian texts, is said to have came to rest. What if we were to tell you that in the ancient Sumerian text, it tells us that the Anunnaki taught the survivors of the great flood all about farming and agriculture. They taught us how to build cities. They gave us a sense of time with calendars and even gave us knowledge of how to maintain a legal system within a society and told us how to gain advances in technological development. What if we were to tell you that the Anunnaki from the planet Nibiru were in fact not only visitors to the earth, but they were also the creator of human civilization on the earth today as we know it. Do you think this is just crazy? Wait till you hear this. When you think of ancient agriculture, you think of farming along floodplains such as the River Nile. But in fact, it started in the mountainous areas around the Mount Ararat and spread out in all directions from this point on our planet. Why is that? The fact is that the ark that saved life on Earth from the Great Flood was very real. Every now and again, we come across artifacts that have been leaked out to the public, such as the Baghdad batteries, which proves that basic forms of electricity were about in the very remote past. It gives us credence that the Dendera light bulbs actually existed and this is how they lit up the inside of the Great Pyramid during construction. The ancient advanced knowledge of Sumeria was taken into Egypt by Abraham from the city of Ur and the great dynastic Egyptians struck forward with this knowledge and used all the tools and pre-dynastic buildings of Egypt that were there before the Great Flood to create an ancient copy civilization where Moses then took this knowledge to Solomon's temple after many ages had passed. The knowledge was energy manipulation and instead of all these great civilizations evolving, they actually devolved because they were using this technology and basically running it dry. They did not know how to replace or restore it. So these civilizations eventually just fizzled out. When we think of ancient history, we think that all the civilizations of the world were all separate. But in fact, we all came from the original civilization of Samaria. We think the world is complicated, but we think like this because we either refuse the truth or we are lied to from the cradle to the grave. Us humans all have more in common with each other on the earth than anything else in the universe. You have to wonder who are we? Where did we come from and where will we go? Will we remember life after death? Will we be conscious in a different realm of space? We first must look at the fact we have from past civilizations and stop believing the stories that are hypothesized without any backing. The earth is littered with ancient knowledge which is staring right at us yet we are blind and ignorant to the fact that the truth is only stranger than we ever could have imagined. Simply because it is not part of the education process we are accustomed to, doesn't this prove that we are a slave race? Who knows? What do you guys think anyway? Tune into part three for more. Thank you for watching.